Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast. In today's video I'm just going to show you a small application. It's all about really deleting applications from your Mac. Um, obviously the way people, a lot of people do it, probably the most common way, is to just grab your application and uh, drop it into the trash. But that doesn't always delete all, all the application because sometimes applications leave small files behind and stuff. So if you want to do a proper delete, you need to download a third party application to do this. But I know it's on YouTube and on a lot of forums and stuff, a lot of people recommend AppZapper, which does the job pretty well and it's a decent little application, but the only little problem I'm having with it, or the issue I have with it, is the price. It's actually $13 nearly. So, for the people who don't know about this alternative application, there's an application called App Cleaner. And the great thing about App Cleaner is it's free. So I'll just quickly demonstrate it for a few of you who don't know how to use it. So we open it up. All you do is then open the application folder up. Find what you no longer want. So let me, I'm sure I've got some here I don't, I don't use. Let me have a look. We'll go for fluid. Delete it. And as you can see, it's going to delete the application. But also, it's found these three other folders and files it's left behind. So, just click delete. Voila, the application completely deleted. Also, if you wish, you can view all the applications within an app cleaner. Go down them, tick them if you want to delete it. I won't do that because I want to keep them. These are also a lot of applications what don't, might not appear in the application folder. We've got widgets, so if you've got widgets on your computer, widgets being on your dashboard, oops. you want to delete them because some of these are old ones actually what I don't no longer use, where well, you can just tick them, search for it and it'll delete it for you, which is an easier way than going through dashboard to delete them, especially if it's not one of your currently used ones. Other is like to delete plugins and stuff, see if you've got plugins and so on on your computer, you can delete them as well, which is a really, really good um, way of deleting them because they can be quite hard to find if you want to delete them manually, so you can use App Cleaner to delete them. Also, the search function where you can search for a plugin if you wish. So yeah, that is App Cleaner. Really simple application, but really useful. And and obviously, it's free, which is even better. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you found this video helpful. I'm sure a few of you didn't know about this application. So if you didn't, then that's really good. And I'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe.